Time now for your need to know weather. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Lareska. Another round of tropical downpours, but you'll notice the slow pressure system now starting to push inland between Brownsville and Corpus Christi. The line of heavy rain and thunderstorms are beginning to shift a little bit further to the south and west away from Galveston Island, where record breaking rains fell yesterday there at the official uh, observation site down in Galveston. Can still expect maybe one or two inches there in Galveston up toward Chambers County. County, but closer toward Brazoria, uh, Matagorda, and Calhoun County is where we could pick up anywhere between two to three plus inches, especially where those thunderstorms could train. As far as the flood risk for today, you can see Houston now taken out of that flood risk. However, Wednesday, that flood risk expands further into Houston and also parts of our eastern counties up toward Liberty, as well as Chambers County, and maybe even parts of uh, Livingston, San Jacinto, and Polk counties. But today's highest threat is going to be south and west of Houston with a 40% chance for some scattered thunderstorms in Houston, an 80% chance the closer you are toward Matagorda, Calhoun, and Jackson County. And that will continue on again, off again throughout the morning during the afternoon, potentially spreading inland during the afternoon hours. Temperature wise, a little bit warmer today now that the center of that, those clouds and extensive rain will be mainly favoring Wharton County down down toward Edna. Port Lavaca. But we do have some changes on the way. Still a lot of moisture in place through at least Thursday. And then a frontal boundary that is currently stalled out just to the north of Houston will be eventually pushing through as we get closer toward Friday and into the weekend where we've got some drier conditions in place along with the drop in the humidity. In the meantime, we're also going to be monitoring a tropical wave now over the eastern Caribbean. Formation odds in the medium range, uh, about 40% as it enters this area of favorable environment for tropical development over the northwestern Caribbean and into the Bay of Campeche, southwest Gulf of Mexico. So something we'll be watching well into early next week and depending on the placement of that front and also a ridge of high pressure coming in over the weekend will dictate whether or not we see any moisture coming in from this system. So plenty of time to watch it. Just know that the next few days or so, you'll still want that umbrella. But later on this week, we've got nine not only a humidity break, you'll notice you'll noticeably feel it on Sunday, but also a nice drop in temperatures with overnight lows dropping into the mid to upper 60s by early next week, along with highs back down in the upper 80s. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Tuesday. Thanks for watching.